Hello everyone! In today's video, I will be giving a campus tour that focuses on the north side of campus at the University of Illinois. This video will be a part of a three-part series, so I can show you the campus in more detail. In this video, I will give you a glimpse of all the interesting buildings such as Granger Library, the SIF, and the Siebel Center for Computer Science, and also some nice study spots. Also, stay tuned to see the end of the video where I'll show you something that most students don't know of and I'm sure many students will appreciate using. Now let's get into the video. The first building I want to show you is the Siebel Center for Computer Science. I personally love coming here as the architecture is so cool. There's an Einstein bagel on the first floor so you can grab some coffee and a bagel. And then there's this main hallway with all the cool achievements that NCSA and computer scientists have done here at U of I. On the second floor, you'll find many places to sit down and study. There's a big balcony where you can see the NCSA building. And just a fun fact, if you're interested in research, you should check out the NCSA research programs they have for undergrad. There's also a help desk on the second floor where you can just walk in and get any IT help you need. A lot of computer science students take their classes. And if you need any help, there's a tutoring center in the basement. Right across from the Siebel Center for Computer Science is the CEE building, which is a civil and environmental engineering building. And I really like this area as there are so many outlets here. This place has many classrooms and labs, and there's also a bridge that connects to the Gay Center, which has a lot of places to study and more classrooms. And from there, you can get to the Newmark Lab. In the Newmark Civil Engineering Laboratory, there are many classrooms and faculty offices, but I want to highlight the Newmark Structural Engineering Laboratory, which is where students can test building materials and structures. And there's also an earthquake simulator, and I'm jealous I won't be able to see it work, as I'm not a civil engineering major. Now walking right outside is the North Quad, where there's a huge sundial. And you can find the Beckman Institute, the Electrical and Computer Engineering Building, and the Micro and Nanotechnology Laboratory. Now first let's go into Beckman Institute and this is where a lot of graduate students and research students go to work on their research but also it is open to all students. When you walk in there's an exhibit for Arnold Beckman and I just wanted to note that there are some areas in here that look like the back rooms but um, yeah it's like 70s style so yeah so some places in here are a little creepy but other than that, there are a lot of nice places to study, it kind of gives you a relaxed state of mind, and other than those ominous spaces in here, I actually really like to study here, especially in this area, and as you can see, they're setting up for a research symposium, so you can also find research symposiums here if you're interested. Next to the Beckman Institute is the Electrical and Computer Engineering Building, which I think is one of the more interesting buildings on campus. When you walk in, one thing that catches your eye is this big clean room where students work on projects like making computer chips, and they wear these suits to make sure their projects are clean and materials don't get destroyed. There's also the Daily Bite Cafe where you can grab sandwiches or bagels. And this is the main common area at the ECE building where students study. And there's the Granger Auditorium on the right. And I just have a little picture of it here. I couldn't go inside, unfortunately. Now looking at the classrooms, there are small classrooms and big lecture halls. On the other side of the building is another entrance where you can find this really cool statue. And I just want to show you that there are bus stops all around campus. As you can see, there's that one, and it's right in front of this building. Next to the ECE building is the Micro and Nanotechnology Laboratory. This is honestly my first time walking into this building, and I actually really like it as it has a modern look. 
there's many study spaces where you can see the North Quad, and there's also many labs and clean rooms like this one. Also, doesn't this remind you of the Grey's Anatomy stairs? I don't know, it was the first thing that came to mind. But anyway, I will definitely be coming back here. Now crossing Springfield Avenue, we're going to head over to the Campus Instructional Facility, which is known as SIF. There are three floors with study tables on each of them, and if you can look over, there is a huge staircase with a padding where you can sit down and study. There are classrooms you can walk in and study, study in a group. And on the first floor is an espresso royale where you can get some coffee and chill with friends. Next, we're going to head over to Talbot Lab. There's some cool exhibits like this one. However, I really wanted to show you something that they have called the Crusher, where it crushes strong materials like concrete. Unfortunately, I did not have access to show you, but I think that's really cool. But here's just an example of labs they have. Right next to it is Everett Laboratory. This is where the Department of Bioengineering is located. And here's just an example of one of the study spots I have. This building is also where I go to student organization meetings, such as for Alpha. I also wanted to show you a glimpse of Engineering Hall. This building has computer labs and classes. And just a fun fact, this building is orange and blue, which is how U of I got its colors. To the east of Engineering Hall is the Mechanical Engineering Laboratory. Going in, there's tables where you can sit down on the left, and on the right, there's actually some student-made cars. And on the second floor, there's lots of spaces to study and classrooms. Going back outside, you can see the Granger Engineering Library. Walking up to it, you see Granger Bob, and he still kind of scares me because he kind of looks like a real person, like in the corner of your eye. But yeah, there's another Espresso Royale. There's so many on campus, and there's also computer labs all around the library. Granger Library is the number one biggest engineering library, and on each floor it has different quiet levels. As you can see, the Granger Library is beautiful, and there's a lot of space to study. Now making our way back towards Green Street, which is the south end of the north side of campus, are many bus stops, including one by the Ceramics Building. Across the street is the Loomis Laboratory of Physics. Obviously, this is where a lot of physics classes happen, but I like to come here to study as there are so many tables and places to sit down. And there are also a lot of classrooms and lab areas. Here's just an example of one of the classrooms they have here. Right next to this building is the Sydney Lou Mechanical Engineering Building. On the first floor, there's a Starbucks, and on the walls of all the hallways, there's whiteboards. There's many lecture halls, places to study, and you can see Green Street from out the windows. And one thing that's super cool is that there's sleeping pods, so you can take a nap while you're out on campus. Now as I'm wrapping up my video, I wanted to show you more of the Bardeen Quad. That's Engineering Hall, and that's the Mechanical Engineering Laboratory. There's Everett Laboratory, the Talbot Laboratory, the SIF, the Granger Library, and the Mechanical Engineering Laboratory. I really like this side of campus as there's so many places to study, hang out with friends, get something to eat, or even see some cool STEM projects. Stay tuned to see more videos of campus as this video is a part of a campus tour series where you will see places like the Main Quad and the South Quad. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. Bye.